Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are here with one more interview experience. So today I will be sharing you my interview experience with Tech Mahindra. So if you want to know like what is the interview process or what kind of interview questions one can expect at Tech Mahindra, then this video is for you. So firstly, I would like to talk about the interview process. So coming to the interview process, there are actually only two rounds here like first one is a telephonic discussion and upon clearing the telephonic discussion there was a an on-site call or you can say like client call because both both the uh, like members were from both like tech tech team and the client team like i don't remember the exact the client name who was the client but there were actually four members so coming to the telephonic interview uh, we have already shared it you can find the link in the description as well and in this video i'll be sharing you with the client round or on-site round technical questions so there were four people who interviewed me in the second round so i'll be sharing you the interview questions in the upcoming slides so before getting into the interview i would like to quickly give it short introduction of ourselves who are like who are we and what we do so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who are attending the interviews with different mncs and sharing our interview experiences through these videos so if you are on, on our channel for the first time, I would request you to uh, visit our channel because if you see on the screen, like all the company names, these are the company names that we have already shared the interviews as interviews. So if you want to catch all the updates, you can subscribe as well. And if you want to share your interview experiences, feel free to reach us out at the given email address that is in the description. And there are a uh, lot of mails that we get like we, we are we are having an interview tomorrow and I'll be sharing you my interview experience day after tomorrow. But we like later on when we revert back to them, they say that they have reject, got rejected and they don't want to share the interview questions. But what we feel is that that is the point that we need to share like feel free share feel free even if you fail because there are n number of videos in, videos on our channel itself where we have failed but still we have posted those videos because it might help someone who, who is attending the interview so this was about our the short description about ourselves so coming to the so in this slide uh, we are actually getting a lot of comments in the comment section like when was the interview scheduled when was the interview happened how how the interview has happened so to check made that question comments so in this you can check this slide so the interview has happened on july 18th in the morning 7 30. so just to for those people who want to know like when was the interview conducted for them for them we are actually sharing this slide and in the next slide uh, like this was the mail that i got from the hr again like regarding the background verification documents there after completing the interview they have asked me to upload some documents so this is the mail so on 20th july i got this mail like on the 18th of june july uh, interview got uh, processed like in the within the two days i got the mail from hr regarding the same so firstly so this interview has happened over a webex and there were like firstly there was only one guy from tech tech team so they actually were ready with the questions so the guy started the interview with java 8 interview questions and what kind of like what list uh, he wanted to know like whether I am aware of Java 8 features or not. So firstly he asked those questions. Then later on he pinged this question to me. Like there is a class employee in which there is a an ID long and a string name long salary and gender is an en enum here. So uh, he want me to write a code using Java 8 streams. Like he will give a list of employees and a salary number long number. I need to filter out all those salary all those members who are having the salary greater than the salary that has been passed as a parameter so he has asked me to write the question using uh, solve the question using notepad and using java 8 features and so i have done the same and i have reverted back in the chat itself like i was sharing my screen and i was displaying my notepad in the notepad i have written the logic and i have shared the same logic then he asked me to write without using java 8 features uh, he asked me the same question again like using for loop so i have done the uh, like I have given the solution even without using Java 8 streams which are here so coming to the next question again the same class was there but the question got changed here now he want the output like uh, gender like he want the list to be converted into the map and the, uh, the key should be the gender 
like male or female and the list a value should be the list of employees like he basically want male employee male as a key and male employee list as a value female as a key and female employee list as a uh, what i can say like value so this was just asked in the java it only in the normal way he didn't ask me so i have given the solution for this as well so next question was uh he gave me like uh, there is a list of integers uh it can have any number so i need to iterate over it using java 8 and normal for loop and i need to list uh, return the even number list this is a very basic level kind of question but still he asked me so i have given him next question was like what is the best way like here actually two interviewers like two people from the client side joined when i was explaining the previous uh, answer itself so they have asked me this question like what is the best way to uh, perform the transaction management when multiple microservices are involved so i have explained him the best way there are actually four ways that are defined like that can be used while we are having multiple microservices like involved in one service call so i have explained him the same here then again they have started the same question actually these people were having set of questions like if i have already shared you right or uh, like uh, they'll pass uh, they there are there are the first question which i have shared uh, like there is a list of employees and uh, they'll pass one salary and i need to filter it out based on the given salary so actually they these people are having a bunch of questions maybe they are asking the same question to each and every guy whom they are interviewing so again they have asked me the same again i have given the solution here highlight thing is the interviewer the tech m guy to whom i have already submitted even that guy is not saying that this guy has already solved the solution again they have asked me to write the question and again i have given the same solution like i have copy pasted from my notepad notepad itself and they have, i have given to them then they have asked me like uh, there is a class called product in which it has id description type and price and then they will pass a, there is a product list uh, so i need to return a map where the product type is a key and some of the price is a value so based on the type uh, like same type and the sum of the values should be returned here so this was a bit complex for me to be honest i was not getting the exact solution but somehow i figured it out because my mind was not working at 7:30 in the morning usually i don't even wake up at that time but i was uh, taking an interview here so then there was one more guy who joined and i be, i hope he was from db side like more more questions were from the db side from him so he asked me to write a query based on employee and project tables like uh, how many people are working in one project how many people are ha working in different project and if at all i want to uh, design the relationship between project and employee table like ta both the tables like project and employee tables how how i would uh, design the thing and all those like in deep in depth uh, questions were asked here again highlight part is again he was asking me the same first question he was giving me that thing but here luckily the interviewer like second interviewer told that they have already asked the question and he he was not uh, I, I i didn't give the solution to him like he was stopped there so these were the questions here uh, like apart from these questions there were again the same questions which were asked to me in the telephonic interview so that's the reason i haven't shared those questions here like uh, mostly they were concentrating on java and java 8 features like what is functional interface optional class what are the features list on list on, list on all the features like every guy was coming in and he was he was asking me the same thing and about the microservices as well like like i have already shared in the tech, like whatever questions they were asked to me like in the telephone discussion itself the same question again they were asking me so even the even the questions related to spring and spring boot they were not in depth questions basic questions like why we are using spring boot what is the advantage of spring boot what how what are the basic dependencies that we need to start a spring boot questions and later on like this interview was scheduled for 1 hour so they were asking some random questions to be honest like they were like why do we why you have used my mattis in your project uh like uh, what a case of why you have went for apache kafka what is the need of apache kafka what are the advantages of apache kafka 
and they were asking me on what all modules of spring i have worked and what and this kind of questions were the like, very generic questions just they were doing to be honest like they were waiting for that one hour to be completed so this was about the interview questions that were asked to me and coming to the feedback of the interview i would say i am uh, i am neutral on the interview process like entire interview process because uh, like uh they they were already having the same questions the same guy is coming and asking the same question again and again i don't know like why but i am neutral on the interview question here and uh, coming to the salary that was given to me offered to me was like 15 lakhs per annum so and the experience level is like uh, 5.8 here um like today i might have 5.9 but at that time i was having 5.8 so this was about the interview questions and interview process at tech mahindra and if you like the videos please do subscribe share or like comment and provide the feedback of the interview like whether you liked it or in anything so thank you for watching and that's it from our side